Hi right, guys, in today's video here in TrueCut Audrey Works, we're going to be looking at the two file formats that you can actually export as. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, we're back in the program here. So now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini-series on supported formats. Uh, my apologies about that. And then we're also going to be... Um, I'll also be leaving um, the relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. So now, we've already covered what some popular importing file formats are. Now we're going to be looking at exporting. And if you guys have followed along, you'll notice that both of these we've already covered. But... I just figured I will make a little video on this, seeing that this is exporting, and it's good to know that we only have two file formats available. So if you plan on sending this to another, let's say you want to re-edit it or something like that, or send it to another um, person for printing and that, understand that this is the or this is the two file format you can send it as. So what we do is you go to File, your main menu, you go to Export, and then under here files as type we've got AI and PLT now AI is obviously Adobe um, Illustrator so this is obviously done by uh, Adobe so that's their file format and this both of these are vector type so that means it's a mathematical equation it is not raster or bitmap and then um, yeah, so if you want to do any editing in a, um, maybe uh, Illustrator or something like that, then you'll go AI. Or if the company you're working with only works with AI, then that's a good uh, bet. And then we've got the PLT, which which is for plot files. This is quite common amongst laser cutters and, and so forth. So you can always just use this file format as a good generic base. So if you're going to be sending it not for so much editing, you can still edit this file, but uh, more for actual cutting and final products. I would say this will be a good format that you can send to your clients, your PLT file format. But yeah, I think that concludes our little mini-series on supported formats. Thank you guys for joining me. And then um, otherwise, if we head here to uh, softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and also you can isolate your search on the top right if you do not however find the training videos you're looking for just go here request the training video fill in the mini form and then we'll do our best to try and make that video for you but otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers